We survived the dancehall era on a technicality as far as I'm concerned. Shabba Ranks was the biggest thing that ever happened in the United States at the time. He was knocking around in the late 80s, early 90s, and Shabba Ranks come on TV and start denouncing homosexuals. Bing! There you go. You know, um, he, he quickly learned, just like many other Jamaican dancehall acts, that um, denouncing homosexuals is a no-no when it comes to the corporate industry in the United States. So as a result now, because of um, that, bands like ourselves that didn't utter things like that because we had more, uh, uh, I'd say, important a more issues. important issues. Well, I can tell you how it is in Jamaica. I've been there on and off. I wasn't born there, but I'm more than familiar with the Jamaican culture. And a lot of these artists got their claim to fame based on, you know, um, for example, J Jamaica is really is a homophobic society. So once you start putting lyrics together that appease and please those who are from a homophobic society, you get a huge pack on, pat on the back. You see what I'm saying? So it continues because that's what they want to hear. Not realizing once they step outside of Jamaica, it's a different ball game. You see what I'm saying? Now, there was a lot of technicalities where lots of acts, your Beanie Mans and your Capletons, all these guys, God bless them, love them. They start going to Europe, your Buja Bantan start coming to the United States, and all of a sudden these banners are up at various um, communities that, and various nightclubs and various um, cities not wanting the style of music they're projecting because they, you know, America is not a homophobic society. If you see what I'm saying. And then these guys have to think again. And when it comes to bands like ourselves, we made damn sure that we didn't get ourselves caught up into that kind of thing because after a while, as you can see, one by one, these guys will be getting, will be becoming banned or becoming ostracized and started to lose work because of it. And I used to just simply say I got more important issues to discuss than someone's sexual preference. I says, um, when, it, when the time come, I leave everybody and what they do to God. And, you know, I'll be getting interviews on and off and in, in Europe. And, and they're, I'm sure they're expecting me just to probably, you know, um, join sides or whatever. But I was never part of that. And, you know, uh, that's what I believe. You know, one sexual preference is their own, and you know, um, you know, I'm not what I'm. I know what I'm about, and, and at the end of the day, we leave whose sexual preferences to, to themselves. And when the time to come, we are going to be judged. You see what I'm saying? But this is what the the, the I, I believe is the, the the reason. The issues are based on the the pats on the backs that they're all been getting in Jamaica, and they continue to do so because it gained momentum for them. But it's slowly realizing, one by one, that it's um, you know, something I think we better start discussing other issues right now. Seriously. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching I Never Knew TV. Please subscribe, comment, like, see.